Tonight is February the 22nd, 2013. I'm going to do a second video on this uh, HP 8903A audio analyzer, 20 hertz to 100 uh, kilohertz. Uh, I'm going to do it more justice tonight. I had a short video on it the other day because I know more about it now. Okay, first of all, right at the moment, I've got it driving this uh, Dynaco Mark III. Outputs into 8 ohm loads. Back to my distribution box, feeding all the equipment. I'm going to take the signal out of the uh, 8903. Let me show you some of the things that this thing will do. Pretty cool. If I want a frequency, I can just say frequency 1 kilohertz. There's my kilohertz. There, it agrees down there with that one. There it is on the spectrum analyzer. There's its THD. There's its THD. Well, let me see if I get back here. See, this is the, uh, AA, the Tektronix A501. This is the, uh, both of these are THD. They agree. If I go to AC level, there's the AC level between the two that are the same. Go back to distortion. Now, if I want to read power, I just say clear uh, 19.0 special function. There it is in watts. 9.245 watts. 9.2 watts. And uh, if I want to go back to where I was, you see clear again. I'm back at my kilohertz. I want to go to another one. Uh, 2 kilohertz. All right, 2 kilohertz. 2001.4, whatever. There's our distortion. They agree. That's here. Here and here. THD on the HP THD on the um, Tektronix. So that's the same. Now, if I want to sweep it, uh, I didn't show you what I've done. But anyway, I'm starting to sweep from 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz. There it is. You can see it there. Watch it on the scope. It's sweeping relatively fast. We'll, we'll come up there. Well, here, here's its sweep frequency right there. And it's THD at each frequency. Pretty cool, huh? It is very cool. And there it is up at 20 kilohertz. Say 20.008 kilohertz. 20,000 right there. 20,008. Eight and a half volts. Again, you can go back to clear 19.0 special function. There's its power again. You haven't lost your settings. Really great. Okay. The way you start this thing off is this is a start frequency. You can set that to whatever you want. You can say start and punch in the frequency. Stop. Uh, say I want to go, say I go to uh, one kilohertz. I can say frequency and then I can up it here. That's times 10. Or I can say divided by 10. See now it's 4,000. See, 4,100, 4,200, 4,300, or if I say times 10, it's going to go to 5,300, 6,300. Same thing with um, the amplitude. I can start driving, here's my voltage. I can start driving the amplitude if I push the down button. If I push amplitude and then I start pushing the down button, say I went down by a factor of 10. Let's go back up, or I can say divided by 10, and I'll start lowering it gently. See the voltage going down there? It really works. It's a very nice instrument. Clear it and go back to sweep again. Let's sweep it again. There it is. 
and it's THD each time. Now, this thing comes with uh, a uh, an I/O port called a 488 uh, 488 port, and um, I've got the um, the 488 to USB adapter. I don't remember its model number right here. It's in the house at the moment, and I've tried to make it work, and I've come very close. It plugs into a USB port on the um, on a PC, and then you can get all this in graphical form. Looks like it's stuck there for some reason. I must have I must have stopped. I must have set the uh, upper limit to to stop it at that point. So that's my bad. Start frequency, stop frequency. Yeah, 20 kilohertz. Okay, now let's sweep it again. And uh, there you go. And it should sweep all the way up to 20 kilohertz. But that's all you do. You just punch it all in here. It's great. Great. I love it. I don't have to use any of these filters. Well, the 80 kilohertz filter is on for whatever reason. I think with no filter on, the bandwidth is like 750 kilohertz. I believe that's what the book said. Now you can see the frequency increasing here each time. Let's see if you look at the whole thing there. It's probably too little. To read any of the display. You may be able to hear, I can hear the, uh, the transformer squealing. Anyway, it's a marvelous device. I love it. It's a whole audio system uh, built into one. Now, there have been some cases, and I can't quite explain why, because it's performing beautifully tonight and agreeing with the Tektronix. But some, there has been nights where I can't make it do that. And if I take it off here and I put it on the Tektronix oscillator, it does the same thing. See there, I'm look, looking right now at the THC. I'm sorry I get the camera off. It's just so hard to hold it. 1.79, 1.83, that's the same number for all practical purposes. This is at 20 hertz. There's 20 there. It says it's 19.96. I don't know how accurate that is. But then, let's, well, I'm going to go in decades of 10 here. That's 20 hertz. Here's uh, 200. See, THD is about the same. 2 kilohertz. About the same. These two. And 20 kilohertz. See? It works. What a nice device. I, I really like this thing. I do hope I can um, get the uh, software to working. And if any of you that have that are watching this knows how to do that or knows what I'm doing wrong, I get a ID and string not return. That's one. And the other one is I um, can't remember. Pete Millet. Uh, I think it's pmillet.com. Uh, a DYI audio uh, site uh, has the software and uh, lots of people have uh, used his stuff successfully and that's what I'm trying to use I think it may have been he uses a version of uh, a runtime I think back of about 5.1 now it's up to like 8.5 and uh, you can also use a uh, an interface board that plugs into like a PCI slot in your uh, PC which is not what I have. And I think that might have been what his was written for. So if anybody knows what my problems are, please let me know. Uh, you can contact me through the uh, YouTube or uh, there's my website right there. ElPasoTubeApps.com Anyway, very nice device. Highly recommend it. Love it. Hope you enjoy.